Titanic was massive on every level, and that included the casting process, for which dozens of A-listers were considered, from Matthew McConaughey to Angelina Jolie. So you want to go to a real party? When director James Cameron first conceived Titanic, which made over $2 billion at the box office when it was released in 1997, he envisioned River Phoenix as the lead and his love story set on the 1912 ill-fated voyage. But by the time Titanic was greenlit, Phoenix had tragically died, and the studio behind the movie was pushing for a superstar like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. Listen, did I say something wrong? Johnny Depp was offered the Jack role but turned it down, as did Steven Dorff and Billy Crudup. Jared Leto was interested but reportedly not willing to audition. Christian Bale and Ethan Hawke did audition and Macaulay Culkin was even considered, but the studio was then pushing Matthew or Chris O'Donnell. I saw that in the Nickelodeon once and I always wanted to do it. McConaughey was actually who Kate Winslet auditioned with the first time she read for Rose, an experience she has described as both weird and fantastic. And Winslet did her screen test with another actor, Jeremy Sisto, although in the end, Winslet was paired with Leonardo DiCaprio, who Cameron had long championed. Just the other night, I was sleeping under a bridge, and now here I am on the grandest ship in the world having champagne with you fine people. Speaking of Rose, several A-listers at the time reportedly turned down the role, including Nicole Kidman, Gwyneth Paltrow, Gina Davis, and Drew Barrymore. Charlize Theron, Claire Danes, Angelina Jolie, Rose Byrne, and even Madonna are among those who reportedly auditioned. You know, they got over 100 girls here, so um, some of you are going to have to go home. And the long list of those considered also includes Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, Cameron Diaz, Christina Applegate, Jennifer Connelly, Rachel Weisz, Sharon Stone, Uma Thurman, Jodie Foster, Minnie Driver, Katherine Heigl, Christina Ricci, Carrie Russell, Nev Campbell, Winona Ryder, Kate Beckinsale, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Tori Spelling, and at least a dozen more. Hello, Jack. I changed my mind. As for some of the other Titanic roles, Cameron considered longtime collaborator Michael Biehn for Cal, along with Pierce Brosnan, Rupert Everett, Rob Lowe, and others before offering it to Hugh Grant. He declined, however, paving the way for Billy Zane, whom Cameron liked from The Phantom. I always win, Jack. And lower away evenly, lad. One way or another. Reba McIntyre accepted the role of unsinkable Molly Brown, but had to pull out due to conflicts. Barbara Streisand was considered, but the part went to Kathy Bates. Here to escort a lady to dinner? Finally, an eight-year-old named Lindsay Lohan auditioned for Cora and was the top choice, but Cameron ultimately felt like he already had too many redheads and instead cast Alexandria Owens. You're still my best girl, Cora. So yes, it's fair to say many saw the massive potential of Titanic, which went on to win countless awards and become the second highest grossing movie of all time. But there can only be one king. I'm the king of the world!